Hey, this is Evil Death Fan 102 back with part 9 of my Let's Play Jinx, and we are now going to do the second section of the third level. What's this sign say? Is this a maze of crypts or is this a cryptic maze? Either way, four gems must be found to exit the ground. Okay, so basically, you have to find four gems scattered around to continue. Currently, up here, well, up here in general, is never going to be used. Here, it will be opened, but it won't be opened just yet. Um, down there is just nothing at the moment. And here, you need a key. So, there's only one way to go currently, and it's down here. So, watch out for the hammers. Don't get hit by the hammers. Maybe. Basically that tells you the different ways to go. Down my road, tornado. Um, what's in here now? Oh yeah, there's a key. There is a key! But to get that key, you have to push these boxes onto their things. Just like this. Okay, push one, and push the other one. That will indeed open up the, the um, skull switch. Press the skull switch. And then quickly go up here. And I got the key first time, wow. Usually I have to keep doing that over and over again. So now I can use this key to uh, unlock the door that was up here. So make sure you watch out for the hammer. Go up. Watch out for the hammer. Go up again. Now use the key to unlock this door right here. Out for the spiky thing, and now ooh, what the heck? You actually did something? Oh my! Oh, he got me! Oh my god! I died for that stupid thing. I usually don't die for that stupid thing, but for some reason I did. No, where is it? Here it is. So now we can just go straight through. And this time, I'll avoid. Maybe I can actually beat him. Usually, he doesn't attack at all. Unfortunately for me, he attacked and killed me. And he's given me another key. This is all this room will ever be useful. I don't think there's ever anything in that room, so just let you know. Let me get through this. Okay, so we can continue now because there's nothing else here. That was nice timing. Jump over here. Jump over again. Go down here. To black. Okay, that was a waste of time. Oh well. I can click to the star maybe. I can click to a couple of stars. Okay, so down there is basically nothing of use. I'll show you what it basically is um, later on. Okay, kill that stupid guy because he does my head in. Where's the key? Oh wait, I already have a key to um, now, we, now basically this is timed. Remember that place I told you before, about before? We have to go back. So, jump over here. Jump over here now. Remember to watch out for swinging. And go this way. Up here. And drop down. Okay, now watch out because there is stupid guy again. I see you dead. Remember to go down here. Jump over here. Watch out for the swingy thing. Okay, so there's a little task in here now to get the first of the um, four gems that you need in this. You have to go on here. You can't walk on the uncored path. You have to walk on the cord path. So just follow the stars. This, this is actually quite an easy task. To it, just follow the path, and the path will lead you to the first of the gems. And now there's a stupid enemy there. I was continue point. I don't know why. Okay, what am I doing? I've run out tornadoes. On there. I don't want tornadoes. I want. I want a bomb. Turn around, 
And I kill myself nearly, and he's not even dead. Does he die at all? Oh, oh no. Okay, maybe he doesn't die by bombs. Maybe you have to you hit him. Maybe he's just for some reason an enemy or you have to hit to kill him. Maybe bombs don't seem to do, it, do, do anything. I guess that's you dead, innit? Do you give me anything? Oh, yeah, you give me a star. Wow, excitement! He gives me a star. Come on, let me move. Don't just rush. You could easily die. Um, no, there's a star here. Okay, we're gonna start the character off. We're probably not gonna do the task just yet. To... Oh, what the heck? No! I died, and now I'm back in this stupid room. Get me out of this room, get me out of here, come on. Jump over. Okay. So now you just jump a fire bomb, jump over. Make sure you time time this perfectly. Here here is the character of this mission. Let's see what he wants. Oh, I'm so hungry, I feel faint. It's been hours since I've had a bite to eat. I end up a bag of bones this way. Show you. Man. You don't look like a bag of bones to me. I had pumpkins I was going to put in a pie. But those mean pirates stole them all. Will you help me get them back? Okay, I found lost. Okay, now this should be really easy. I had nine pumpkins and the pirates have hidden them somewhere in the three areas of this realm. So basically now you have to find you have to find him all his pumpkins. Um, I'll find the pumpkins that I can find for now. Oh yeah wait, I need to do this first, don't I? Um What I'm gonna do uh, this basically will lead back to that room that you saw the door with. Let me up! Get him away, Hammers! Okay, let's see what pumpkin, pumpkins are out in this area. There is no pumpkins even in this room. Just so that I get all the pumpkins from this area. Um, what's this way? Show this pumpkin in the yeah. Pumpkins are like basically like this. A little pumpkin on the floor that's glowing. You have to collect nine of these basically. That's one pumpkin collected. Any more in this section? Uh, any in this room? Nope. There's nothing ever in that room again. Uh, no pumpkins at the beginning. Okay, so I guess there's no more pumpkins in these areas. We can just continue. Got to drop down here now. Cut the stars. And we need a pumpkin from this area now. I'm sure there's a pumpkin down here. Yep, there's a pumpkin on the other side. Now you can walk on it any time now once it's opened. So that's the second pumpkin of, of nine. There are some pumpkins scattered in the first area, so we have to backtrack. Ooh, I made, I made the jump. Okay, so... I can continue now. Okay, let me just check time. Nine minutes, I've got time yet. Um, the third pumpkin is down here. There's also them stupid enemies. We bats around them. Seriously, these enemies are just, they're just fools. Why do we have bats around? I know they're like vampires, but and he gives you the second one of them four gems. Okay, so now you can go up here. Watch out for the little Frankenstein dude. They do get your nerves. Now watch out for the hammer. Jump across. What the hell? Okay, did I manage to do it? I did somehow even though the game got a little stucky and weird. Don't know how I managed to do it. Somehow I did. Okay, so let me jump on here, jump over here, onto here, watch out for 
much of it. Um, not by do it again. Kill him. We should kill him. Grab the third of the gems. And now make sure you jump on the platform. What is going on? Yo, we did it, we did it, we did it. Jinx is amazing. This is such an epic game. Okay, make sure you jump the right time. Like that. That was a perfect jump. That was a perfect time jump. Okay, now make sure you have... Ha! The spider thought it was amazing and he died. Within one go. That's how you take care of big spiders. Okay. The signpost will basically hint you that you need four to get a crop. Well, two will continue. But I will have the four, so I don't have to worry about that. Do I now? So, now we're going to put the four of these in here. One, two, three, and four. And guess what? We've done that section! We did it, we did it. We did it once again. We did it, we did it, we did it once again. Okay, so now we can save and we can end this one in a sec. I'm doing this so much better than what I was doing yesterday, actually. Okay, so that was part nine finished um next part will be part 10 until then see you guys later bye bye